presenter, uh, which is um, uh, Sena Selen. Uh, nice to have you with us. And um, uh, uh, you will talk about student uh, res uh, retrospective observation uh, from uh, interactive poetry classroom. Uh, so um, um, now you can share your presentation if you wish, and um, if you could also introduce yourself. Sure, I will, if you let me, uh, give me the permission, I will share my screen now. I guess now it's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's a... Yes. Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. uh, not yes. Now, uh, mm -hmm, now it's okay, but if you could um, with F5 uh, show your slides. And, okay, great. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is Sena Selen. I am a student uh, at Karadeniz Technical University, uh, English Language and Literature Department. Uh, I'm very excited and delighted to be here as a presenter. First of all, uh, I want to thank the organizers of this very fruitful event and Professor Mustafa Zeki Çıraklı for giving me this opportunity. I am going to share my experiences and observations from the interactive poetry classroom conducted by Professor Chiracla two years ago in 2019. I consider myself very lucky to be in that class because I learned that poetry is not as difficult as I thought before. I will briefly talk about the poems we covered and the activities we did throughout the semester. Before starting my presentation, I want to show you a video that I prepared to give you a visual insight into our poetry class. Good old days. So I would like to begin with how we learned about Shakespeare's three very important sonnets, sonnet 17, 18, and sonnet number 130. As a warm-up activity, we made translations and rewritings by adding Turkish cultural elements to the sonnet. Then we compared our translations and I gained ideas on how to make creative translations and rewritings. And then, to my surprise, uh, Professor Chiraklı asked me to write a sonnet for our mobile phone. At first, I was very surprised because why would anyone do that? Then, after writing our poems using cliche phrases, I felt like a poet and I understood what Shakespeare was doing in his sonnet. He was playing with words and playing with the sonnet tradition itself. 
Uh, with this activity, I felt close to Shakespeare's style and playfulness. Also, some of our friends presented a short play showing that what would happen if Shakespeare was interviewed today. He was asked about the sonnets and who he wrote them for. As for the sonnet 18 and sonnet number 130, we tried to draw the woman that uh, Shakespeare portrayed. Drawing these two very different characters and bringing them to life was very internet and entertaining for me. I still have my sketches and poems back home. I wish I could add them to my presentation, but unfortunately, I don't have access to them for now. So we also played the makeup game and painted a friend's face with the depictions in the sonnet number 130. It was quite a visual entertainment. Another friend joined him and we watched them stand back to back and transform into each other accompanied by music. We also learned about Christopher Marlowe's The Passionate Shepherd to His Love and Sir Walter Raleigh's The Nymph's Reply to the Shepherd. We rehearsed these poems as girls versus boys. Then we marked both Turkish and English common elements and discussed them. The dramatic representation was performed by our friends and we saw the poem in action and how the shepherd was rejected by the nymph. We also discussed the pastoral poetry and the similarities between Turkish poet Karajolan and the shepherd. Parallel to these poems, we wrote a poem as a reply to Karajolan's Bana Karadiyan Dilber, just like Nim's reply, and also performed a parody acting out the situation between the shepherd and the nymph. Another poem was The Pulley by George Herbert. At the beginning of the class, we discussed the difference between physics and metaphysics and what metaphysical poetry is. After rehearsing the poem, we made sketches of the pulley we understood from the poem. Here on the right side, you can see one of my friends' drawings, God giving all the qualities and leaving out the rest. We acted, we acted out the poem and then played the pulley game, which we kept reaching higher and higher and higher, grabbing the pulley. Eventually, we understood how tiring it is and how restless we are. The remaining students in the game won signed books as prizes from the teacher. Also, we read two beautiful poems from William Blake's collection, Songs of Innocence and of Experience, The Lamb and the Tiger. First of all, we analyzed and discussed these poems as always. Later, adapting it to our uh, today's culture, one of our friends read the poem as a rap music, while the rest of us, uh, rest of the class kept the rhythm and accompanied her like this. It was quite fun. For the tiger, as you can see from the picture, picture, we played a mobile phone light game to create the burning bright eyes of the tiger. With John Keats's Ode on a Gratian Urn, we learned that we can stop time only through art. We did a grammatic reenactment of the iconic uh, paintings on the Gratian Urn. The whole class has turned into a museum as we acted, and we reinforced the history art difference by animating it. We realized that when art is combined with our imagination, it becomes more beautiful than reality itself. These were some of the poems and activities I wanted to share. To sum up, in my observations, many students are prejudiced against the poetry genre. To be honest, I was one of them. However, at the end of the semester, I understood that, that we had to connect the poems to our cultures and lives. To do so, in the class, we found connections between these poems and Turkish songs. We, in the classroom, as students, we became poets, actors, and actresses, even the characters from the, these poems. Uh, we acted them out, played with words, we related them to our everyday lives and experiences. We even had journals to write what we learned and how we felt. Eventually, I became more and more familiar with them and realized that they did not intimidate me anymore. So I loved poems so much that this semester I chose creative writing elective course to write my own poems. Thank you for this inspiration, Professor. Um, that is all from me. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed uh, my presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can see my email on the screen.
Thank you very much. Um, it was um, really interesting, especially because you were talking about your own experience, which uh, 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 which makes the presentation more vivid, dynamic. Uh, so, so um, are there any questions from audience? Would you like to uh, to, to ask about this um, uh, great um, uh, great uh, exercise? To be honest. Uh, I would say life exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, I, I would like to ask you, um, can you imagine uh, using this kind of, of experience in your future professional life? Because uh, 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 you will graduate uh, soon, am I right? Uh, so, so, <laughs> so, so can you imagine um, uh, similar um, activities or, or elements of, of uh, this kind of activities in your future uh, professional life? Definitely, because I, I'm planning to be an academician in my future career. Uh -huh. I, I hope so. And now I am being, uh, I am a teacher, uh, I'm giving private courses and I am currently using these activities. Okay, so, so you are already using this, uh, these ideas, am I right? I think she's disconnected. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I can continue if you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, Sorry for interrupting you, Anna. By no, no, I was just uh, uh, sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one, I think, participant says uh, in 40 minutes, uh, your 40 minute online class, how can I conduct this virtually? Uh, yeah, of course, it might be challenging, but you shouldn't just, uh, I think, limit yourself to 40 minutes. So, so it's going to be, I mean, uh, done, I think, in several hours, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, Greta says, it's nice to see this kind of triangulation from mm -hmm. three different perspectives particularly one from a learner, yes, uh, who experienced working with poetry in the way described by Dr. Uh, Chirakia. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for, um, uh, for all comments. And uh, I, I see uh, Senna, uh, she's back with, uh, uh, back now. Okay, can you? Uh, just a second, just I'm a second. Mute, okay. Yes. Now, everything Anna? is fine. Yes, and I Sorry, I, I have a technical problem. Sorry, I connected from my no phone. No problem. It's, it's uh, our reality now, so, so don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> my computer is frozen right now. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, have you heard our question? Would you uh, would you be able to to answer how how can we how can you how can we use um, uh, this this kind of experience uh, in in our teaching practice? I was just answering to your question. Uh, <laughs> and which part the computer froze? But uh, if you didn't hear, I can. Uh, yeah, if you could, if you could. Mm -hmm. Uh, my answer was that I collect many uh, valuable yeah. things. So you are already using. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, my computer started again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, worry. okay. Uh, I got a lot of qualities from my different uh, professors, Alishuk, Mustafa, uh, Professor Ali Shukri Özbay and Professor Mustafa Zeki Kiraklı, I, I got very valuable things and I love to apply it on my career, even now and in my future, hopefully. And I think I will be my students' favorite professor in the future. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> and I think uh, your professor is also proud to, to hear uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, great, great. What um, was the other questions? I think that that was my question. I'm, I'm just um, uh, checking. Ferit, uh, your question? Do you have a question? No, I actually don't have any question, but, you know, I really appreciate your, you know, your courage 
to the, to give this presentation. You know, not you know every BA student can do that. By the way, I really appreciate that thing. And, and it was great. It was yeah, really it was great. great. I was yeah. so scared. I can't even explain it to you. But <laughs> in order to be brave, we need to be scared in the first place. And <laughs> I think there is another comment. Uh, uh, so Imran Gökçe says, I'm from translation studies, so I can't comment on teaching methods, but I wish I could have had the chance to learn literature like this at university. It looks more fun and efficient. Nevertheless, I'm amazed how you professors use various forms of translation and rewriting. It would be quite interesting to analyze from the perspective of translation studies. Uh, thanks to all for uh, these presentations. You. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Mustafa can say Can I add something? Can I add sure. something? And sure. maybe, uh, you know, another study that uh, we have done with another colleague about, you know, milling and cohort psychology, self-psychology, and how yeah. we use such, you know, milling processes uh, during, you know, the stages of feedback. So, Feedback is, to my understanding, is, you know, mutual and should be mutual. Not only uh, the students, but also the teachers and professors need positive, uh, constructive feedback and constructive mirroring back to their work before. So uh, this evening, I have enjoyed such kind of positive feedback. And I would like to make a reference to Greta's, how can I say, uh, positive episodic memory uh, and yes it's a positive episodic memory for me to be here tonight and to have a how can I say a delighted look into the middle of my students I am proud of you and uh, uh, that has really made my day and my evening and thank you for this opportunity Joanna Joanna and Ferit and Hoja and the other uh, colleagues as well. I am proud of Zehra, I am proud of Sena, and I thank all my colleagues uh, we studied and we, how can I say, uh, produced some ideas or assumptions. Uh, and I thank you, the uh, guests here. Uh, I am a little full now, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for accepting our invitation. Thank you for, for a great presentation. That is my, my pleasure.